Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be doing a bookshelf reorganization video. Also just by the way, my voice does not sound the way it normally does. I actually haven't filmed anything in um, over two weeks, three weeks I want to say um, because I had a, another chronic illness episode and then I got sick with something else other than my chronic illness so it's been like three weeks since i filmed y'all don't know that <laughs> i'm getting over something the doctors don't know what it is my throat was like burning on fire for days um and it was not strep throat so don't know what it was but i'm now in like the nose sniffly part so we're good though right now and i have a little bit of energy and with that energy i really want to reorganize my bookshelves. So if you didn't know, at the beginning of this year, I had to move back in with my parents for the next couple months till the fall semester of college. Um, and then after those four months of the fall semester, I'm going to be moving back in with them. Um, so I only be gone for like four months. So this room is kind of like mine for like the foreseeable future. I finally got all my bookcases back from my apartment in college. I thought it was time to organize them. Um, right now, the room is a little bit chaotic. Not everything is clean. So if you are a everything needs to be pristine clean kind of person, that's not what my room is like right now. So yeah it's not like messy by any means it's just not everything is done and put together but i really wanted like a pick me up today from being so sick for the past couple weeks so i thought it would be a perfect time to reorganize my bookshelves i've had this set up for like a few of my videos so far um and i like like the bookshelves behind me like we're not going to change which bookshelves are behind me in videos because i already have that set up but i do want to kind of like rearrange the books themselves um, and then I have two other bookcases. They're the bookcases that y'all saw behind me in all of my videos in college. Those two white bookcases. And one of them is over there holding my TV and the other one is right next door right here. So I kind of want to like walk you through kind of what I hope to do and then we'll see if I can do it. Um, so we're going to do some walking around here. The lighting may not be the best because um, it's overcast today and Y'all don't want me to turn on the actual light in this room because it's god awful. Um, so we're only gonna be working with some windows and a ring light. Okay, so first we have this whole setup right here. This was my TBR cart, and now I put it into my historical romance shelf. So I'm gonna walk around here. Also be here dogs, they're in here hanging out with me. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, this is my historical romance cart. And I tried to like organize this a little bit, at least the two top ones. I really want them to be in alphabetical order when it comes to author and title. Or I think I want to do author and series go together because like I want the series to go together. Also say hello to Mr. Ollie here. Um, so I kind of want to put all of my historicals in alphabetical order. I kind of want to do starting A here. I've already started it going down and then it'll go to the back here. And then here's the back with all of my Johanna Lindsay's and everything. And so it's still in alphabetic order right now. These are just thrown on here right now. So that's mainly what I wanna do for this. And it's mostly done. I just have to add in some more historicals that I haven't put in there. Ollie, why are you crying? <laughs> I do have to make a list of all the books in this box. I haven't filmed a book haul um recently these are like all the books that i've gotten since january february um which is not a, a lot honestly they've mostly been books that have been kindly gifted or sent to, sent to me which is very nice just because i haven't really been in the right mindset to buy books i'm saving money for medical bills instead of books at this point um so i need to make a list of all these books so i can put them back in the box when they're done because i do want to organize my bookshelves with these books like in mind so i have enough space for them so yeah there's this big box right here of books and then we're back over here this is a bookcase my dad made for me back when i was in middle school um and there's like another bigger one even in the room next door but i don't think we're gonna be moving that like they're using it for their books now which i don't mind um 
And so yeah, these are all double stacked right now. I don't really know what to do. I kind of want to make this my romance shelf that isn't historicals so that I've already read, if that makes sense. So I think I kind of want to do that. And then this is a mess. Look at him just, they're playing musical chairs at this point, dude. Um, so this, these are a bunch of books. I don't know how I fit all these books in all these bookcases. Like, I don't know how I did it. And then back there next to the bookcase is uh, three boxes of books that um, are full of books. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to organize that. But this shelf right here, I kind of want to be TBR books, books I have not read yet that are on my immediate TBR kind of, because I don't know if all these books will fit. And so I'm thinking like I rank them by priority and the books that I don't have a lot of priority for, that I don't have a lot of room for on my shelves, I might just put them in boxes for now. I don't know. Um, and then we're gonna be walking around the room here. Um, <laughs> excuse the mess. So this is my very messy bed right now because she messed it up. <laughs> Um, also the pictures on the walls are, um, pictures my mom took. She's a photographer and so this used to be her office. So anyway, this is the bookcase holding my TV currently. And I was thinking these, this shelf could be YA books that I have read and loved. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Like I'm walking you through this process. And so this is kind of like a full panel of the room right now. And then there's also a desk behind me with Mr. Oreo asleep back there. Um, so yeah, not everything is like put together, but I'm in the mood to reorganize. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to pop in either some booktube or an audiobook. We'll see, but I kind of want to re just reorganize stuff. I'm going to be first making a list of all these books so I can put them back in the box when I'm done. Um, and then I'm going to be basically sorting all these books. So I'm going to get to doing that. Hi everyone. It's actually... A month or two later since that last clip and I never got around to showing you what my bookshelves look like now after reorganizing everything and fixing up this room so I thought I'd kind of do like a bookshelf tour slash room tour. My room is not the cleanest thing ever. Um, well it's clean it's not the most put together organized thing ever so please bear with me if you are a neat freak. <laughs> Um, please don't hate me. <laughs> so let's get started with what you see behind me in my videos. Oop. <laughs> so I did make this entire bookcase, this white one. I made it all of the romances that I have read that are not mass market paperback or historicals. Um, and most of these shelves are double stacked. Oh man, the lighting sucks. Give me a second. Is this better? I don't know, bear with me, I'm sorry. So I've read all of the books that are on this shelf behind me and they're all double stacked and each of them kind of has like a theme to it um, or like a grouping. So I'll show you kind of like what that is like shelf by shelf. Previously, I've had stuff sitting up on the top in this little section here, um, but not this time I didn't put anything in there. Um, so this top one right here, I'm not gonna show you any of the things that are double stacked because that takes way too much effort, okay? So we're just gonna be showing you what's on the display side so it breaks off from here so this side is christina lauren books this side is colleen hoover books that i own that i've read i read all of these here's about a shot of it <laughs> sorry for the shaky camera we're working with what we got okay and then this is the second shelf and this is mostly like taller paperbacks of contemporary romances so we have like mafia ones, you have the caveman one, like all these contemporaries that are my favorite. Of course, Britney C. Cherry's over here. We have a few Hello Lovely Box exclusive ones. Um, I just got this in the mail a couple of days ago by Lovely Subscriber. Her name's, I think it's Verna or Verna. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. V-I-R-N-A. Verna? Verna? I'm so sorry, but thank you so much. She sent me this book just on a whim. Thank you. Um, I got it literally like a couple days ago. Um, and so, yeah, these are just some of my favorite contemporary romances. And then this next shelf is like 
my favorite I'm my baby so these are like paranormal alien fantasy favorites of mine so oh my gosh I just realized it's all mixed up because I just filmed not filmed but took some bookstagram pictures and I messed it all up give me a second I gotta fix the way the shelf looks okay I fixed it there you go <laughs> I was doing like a bookstagram picture with like a book with Ruby Dixon books surrounding it. So I need Ruby Dixon books on both sides of the shelf, but I normally group them all together. So that's what this is. So from here over is my Ruby, Dix Ruby Dixon collection. I've read more than this. I just don't have all the money to spend on Ruby's books because they can be kind of expensive. Um, and then of course we have some of my other favorites. These are two of the last books in a Wolf Shifter series I love. We have Grace Draven books over here, my babies. Emma Ham fantasy romance, this fantasy romance with Katie Tucker that I love. And that's, that's this shelf here. Man, sorry for the shaky camera. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom shelf. So I gotta get Miss Henrietta to sit on. If you don't know, Henrietta's my walker. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is editing Avery. Um, and I missed a shelf. So you just saw this one and I immediately went to that one, <laughs> so I skipped one. Um, so sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. Um, my parents are home, so um, I do not have the house to myself. But anyway, this is the shelf that I skipped over for some reason, um, but these are just some of my favorite contemporary romances that I love. So you have whoop, Archer's Voice, some K.A. Tucker's that aren't the fantasy kind, Helen Huang, I don't own book three in that series. We have my favorite Tally Hibbert, um, Nerdgasm, then you have Chloe Lise, and of course the Royally series by Emma Chase, one of my favorites of all time. So that's the shelf. These are probably ones that I love more than the contemporaries on this shelf. So there's kind of like a hierarchy. <laughs> so like these are better in my brain than these ones, if that makes sense. Okay, here we are. We're sitting on her. We're sitting here. Okay. Um, so this, ooh, sorry dang this is the next shelf um these are other contemporary romances that i love we have tessa bailey um just like more of the cartoon cover ones um like traditionally published ones um and then these are just like my mass market paperbacks that are not historicals that i love um so you have uh mila vane's two fantasy romance books um and then cl wilson's one of my favorite fantasy romances and then alicia rye books that are amazing and carba stone books that are amazing as well the last shelf is not very organized and i'm sorry and i'll try and show you but it's at the bottom here um so this down here is my sjm sarah j mass shelf not very organized whatsoever i had all the throne of glass books in the back all stacked in chronological order and then the Akatar ones, but then they got all mixed up. Um, and then the two Crescent City books are there too. They're not all organized because like I use them for pictures. I'm doing a SJM reread for the SJM along. And then my friend has been borrowing the first Akatar book for forever. So that's not here. Um, so sorry if that was a little chaotic for you. And then this is my historical cart. It's double stacked front and back. Um, and there's actually a historical romance collection video for you. If you want to go check that out, that's linked down below. I'm not going to show you really any of those books. These are just my historicals in alphabetical order. So A here, and then it goes down. And then once that's at the bottom, it flips around and keeps going in alphabetical order. Okay, you can go check out the video for my historical romance collection to see all of them just did all of those now we're going on to this shelf so this is my to be read shelf here um that square is all full of my black dagger brotherhood and morals after dark even some Anna boucher you can see right there um these are all books i have read so just this square are books that I have read because I have nowhere else to put them. So all the other books are books I have not read. And I kind of like categorize them. So these are all contemporary romances, mostly traditionally published. Same thing with this square. And then some YA books I have to like double stacked because I'm not really in the YA mood. Then some more YA, there's some double stacked. Um, and then just some miscellaneous books over here to the side that I'm interested in reading. And then some more YA romance. And then these are 
other romance books that I want to read, mostly mass market paperback size. So we have Ilona Andrews. I own all of this series. Have I read any of them? No. We're not going to talk about it. J.R. Ward books I haven't read yet. Um, C.O. Wilson, this fantasy romance series I've heard good things about. And then Alyssa Cole. I've read this one, but I wanted to keep this series together. So. so yeah, I haven't read any of these books. And then this over here is my priority TBR. So these are books at the top of my TBR that I own physically. Um, if you want to know more about these books, the summaries, why I put them up here, I actually have a priority TBR video you can check out. It's going to be linked down below, but um, everything surrounding it. Basically, we just have a basket here that I keep like my filming stuff in. Um, so that's like my filming calendar, author backlist, just a notebook and a to-do list, and then my remotes for my lights. Um, and then we have some book bow things, Jessica from Peace Love Books made that one in the front. Love it. Um, cross stitch of cats in a library, bookmarks, just some random knickknacks that I love that go across the room here. And so this is what the space kind of looks like standing up. Um, you might be wondering why this chair is covered by this blanket. And I will show you, even though I'm embarrassed. So, um, I might have accidentally washed this white cover with this blanket and turned it splotchy pink. You probably can't even tell, but it is splotchy pink. So, I decided to cover it to, um, cover up my mistake. Because, like... My room is pink, but like, that's ugly. <laughs> We're gonna bring Henrietta over here so I can sit on her. Okay, so we were over there. Here are all the lights and everything. We were over there. Now, we're over here. This is actually my Barnes & Noble collector's editions. My mom, my parents give me one of these books for every like, birthday and Christmas so I've been collecting them for quite a bit and I love them a lot they are so pretty so I hope to collect a lot of them throughout my life <laughs> they're all beautiful um hardback editions of classics so Alice in Wonderland, Beauty and the Beast, War and Peace like, I haven't read the majority of these but no I would say I've read some of them you know so We'll see here are the littler ones that are really, really, really cute. I love them. Like, I love how I have like this in this edition because like I grew up, this was like one of my favorite books as a kid. Um, so I just love that. And then I'm not going to show you it completely because there's like pictures of kids on this, but I don't have their consent, obviously. So this bulletin board is huge. Like I love it. I'm a collage girl. I love making collages. So there's just a bunch of knickknacks and things on here that I love. Um, don't worry, those aren't kids. That's me and my friends when we were little. Um, but yeah, like that's that's me and Bridget Kammerer, me and Samantha, me and Jen, me and my best friend, um, my family. And if you can see really tiny, that's the booktuber um, group. Oh, and this one is too. So like, <laughs> I'm not gonna show you the whole thing because there's like pictures of the kids I've babysat and nannied on here that I love. So I'm not gonna show you anymore, but like, I love staring at this bulletin board. I love it. Um, and so then we're gonna mosey on down to the last shelf over here. First, let's say hello to Mr. Oreo. Oh, he says hi. This is his, this is his pillow. This is his little bed. We open the window for him and he loves sitting here, right? Right, right? This is his little spot. Um, excuse the unmade bed. I am currently doing laundry, um, <laughs> but, this is my last shelf in my room, and these are all of the books that I have read that are not 100% romance books. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here. Excuse me if you can see my feet, um, but this is just a stack of coloring books and other things that are too big to fit on the shelf, but this is my Twilight Square. Oops, some books fell. Don't know where paperback of Twilight went. I used it for a video and I don't know where it went. Oopsie, um, but I collect Twilight books. Okay, um, this one is probably my most prized possession. Um, it's a, loop. if it would come out, it's a box. It looks like this. I got this at half price books, okay? And then it comes out of the box, oop, and it looks like this. And people are like, Avery, how is that my, your most prized possession? Like, that looks kind of ugly. Like, I agree. Like, this is not the most pretty looking thing. But then, 
Well, first of all, it has the bookmark in here, which is cool. But look at that. Look, I found that at Half Price Books was not more expensive because of the signature. I don't even know if they knew about the signature, so like, excuse me. So, and that has deckled edges too, so. Yep. <laughs> and then I also have the illustrated edition or graphic novel of the first one. And look, when you line up, they match up. I also tried to get the new moon, new moon ones. They made them all the way up to new moon, but it's like so stinking expensive. Um, and then also I have the insider's official guide back there. I collect a bunch of toilet books, okay? Um, and then this is kind of like my classic shelf. This is also double stacked too. Everything's double stacked. Um, so Jane Austen, my baby little woman. I collect so many, um, I collect so many editions of it. I love it. Jane Eyre is one of my favorites as well. I just love, I love these classics so much. And then this is like some of my favorite YA books. I love this trilogy by Marie Rutowski. Um, just like, these are two YA fantasy ones I love. I love Salt of the Sea by Ruta Sapetti. It's one of my favorite books of all time. Um, this one is signed, which love that for me. I love that. <laughs> and then one of my favorites, Sick Kids in Love, Hate You Give. This trilogy is so underhyped. If you've not read these books yet, the first one is so stinking good. These Broken Stars, one of my favorite audiobooks of all time. It is so good. And then this shelf is like my miscellaneous tall books. So kind of have like VHS movies, graphic novels, coloring stuff, baking, stuff like that. Okay, sorry, you see my toes here. <laughs> but, oh, there's Twilight. Why is it down there? <laughs> so, um, I think The Hunger Games is back there. That's why. So, um, back there, you can kind of see, like, the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogies back there. Um, other YA books. I collect little golden books ever since I was a kid. So, those are there. And then the Square's other YA books that I have liked and collect. So, that's what that is. And then, quickly, if you go to the back I kind of showed the back oh that's sticking out let's fix that please also sorry for the dirty floor I own I own cats and dogs okay there's gonna be dirt on there um so as you can see like back there like everything's like double stack so, so I can't show you what all that stuff is but this one I faced on the outside because you can see it so why not um the illuminate files you have some fantasy romances I love Six of Crows, Duology. I love these three YA books a lot too. Um, and then other YA books that I've loved. I was a selection girl, okay? Not gonna lie about it. And then also, if you've not read the Kiss of Deception books, what are you doing with your life? Honestly, love those. So that's like my bookshelf tour, kind of. Um, so if it was really not that well organized. Um, I don't feel like doing any of the pan clips or voiceover stuff so that's why we're not gonna do it because i don't feel like doing it so we're just gonna that's why that's why i did it the way i did it i love my new setup i just want to say also love the stack of clothes i gotta hang up <laughs> sitting right there um but yeah i love my new setup um tori from novel life i asked her what lights she uses and so she sent me the amazon link and i've been loving them um because i normally just would film with a ring light but it's just not working for me, just only the ring light. So I use the ring light with these two lights now too. Love the way my bookshelves look. I'm gonna be moving back to college for like four months in August. So we'll see what books I bring with me, what is gonna change. I'm probably just gonna bring one of these shelves with me because I need something to put my TV on um, and hold some of my books. I'm not bringing all my books with me for four months back to college, no. Let me know down below um, uh, what books you loved a part of this um a bookshelf tour I'd love to know and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me a um there's no bookshelf emoji is there there's a stack of books emoji you could do that anyways thank you all so so much for watching I will see you soon in my next one bye y'all wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up today's gonna be a good day.